cool. Hi, mister. Hi, bud. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Hey, Delta. Oh, hi, Delta. Hey, guys. It's Steve Boyle. Um, I'm in a basement right now, but the lighting is pretty good, so I can't really complain. And I'm back. How long has it been? It's been months, hasn't it? I'm so sorry. I have been going through some crazy shit, and life has been a little hectic. But I'm back. Why? Because I started this channel on a mission. And that mission was to not go on like couple month hiatuses and stop talking to you guys. It was to help and to do what I can to, you know, be a positive influence on the internet and in the world. And, um, you know, I lost track of that. Guys, can you stop smelling everything? Um, but I'm back. Oliver's back. He is as unanimated as ever and ready to, to get back into things a little bit. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. I had some emails sitting in my email of people that were looking for my help and I was being all crazy and stuff and didn't know, you know, how to get back into this and if I was even, you know, in the right headspace and stuff to, to get back into it, but I'm gonna get back into it. So first things first, before I get into anything else and, uh, you know, kind of get uh, back into the swing of things fully, I want to do some My Hits and Sundays. It is Sunday after all. And I have some emails that uh, people have been waiting to hear on. So I don't even know if you guys are still going through the same stuff or not, but please allow me to uh, try my best here. Okay. Logging in. Oh, this feels good. I don't know how to say this person's name. Sierran. Kyaran? Sierran. Siren. Um, hey Steve, I'm Siren. I'm from Scotland. For, uh, for four years, I've been in complete denial that I might be gay. However, in November 2015, after watching a coming out video, which then led me to watch probably every coming out video on YouTube, I finally accepted myself. Congratulations, man. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, although I've never felt better about myself, things at home couldn't be worse. I've been constantly arguing with my parents, and I know for a fact that this is down, uh, that is, uh, wait, I know for a fact this is down to me hiding my sexuality from them. I want to tell them, but I don't know how. I'm not sure of the consequences, as my mom will probably accepting, but my dad is so homophobic, which has caused me to develop a hatred towards him since I've discovered that I'm gay. He constantly throws round, er, word, round words like faggot, which we, uh, we can't even turn on the TV without seeing a gay person and him saying something negative. I know coming out will have such a change. I'm not sure if I should or not. I just want to be happy and not have to hide it from them anymore. Uh, homophobic parents. Dude, we've touched on this so many times and it's it never gets easier um, to give advice about these things because yeah, I don't know too much. I don't know too much about your parents. Uh, I don't know about the subtleties of his homophobia. Um, I don't know if your dad is, you know, why he is that way. I wish I, I wish I did. I wish I knew why some parents thought that this is some kind of uh, aspect of our lives that's going to hold us back or somehow makes us, uh, you know, not fit for this world. But we are, you know, and that's that's the crazy thing. There's so many great examples of successful gay men. Uh, and it's it's almost overwhelming now. Your dad has no reason to be homophobic. You should know this. Uh, it should be pretty obvious to a lot of people that gay people can make it in this world. Uh, the only thing that stops gay people in this world from succeeding and being just as good as everyone else uh, is people like your father. There's no reason to look down on gay people. Uh, our sex is what makes us different. I don't know why people get so caught up on where we're putting our penises and how it affects them or you know society in general. There's nothing that great about heterosexual relationships that for every wonderful heterosexual relationship that contributes to society and stuff, there is an awful hetero couple that is, you know, the worst kind of person with the exception of where they put their penis in terms of, you know, societal norms. Some people are just destined to be pains in the asses for their entire lives and not come around to, to simple things like, hey, gay people are human and capable of, you know, not being, you know, bullied for stupid shit. I, I wish I could fucking come to each one of your houses and knock on your door and sit down with your parents and explain why their prejudices are, you know, more detrimental to society in a negative way than the fact that you are going to put your penis somewhere that a lot of people don't put their penises. Wow. I miss doing this show. 
Alright, uh, so I, I, don't, I wish I could help, man. I, I do, but uh, the important thing is to stay strong, you know? Find the people that do support you. Your father is your father by title that makes him important. Um, and, and it's really up to him to come around to these things. There's nothing that you can do to make things better except for, well, maybe come out. Maybe come out and start living your life and get a great support system and show him what it means to be a gay man in the best way. Well, find great friends that make you feel great about yourself. Live a happy, wonderful life. And, you know, play the long game with your father. There's no reason... There's no reason to, to, you know, let these people get you down, except for the fact that you have a couple more years in that house to uh, putting up with him, calling people faggots and stuff. And you know what? It's not right. And so, yeah, start with your mom. Figure out with your mom if you, if you can, you know? I don't know how that dynamic works. I don't want to say go tell your mom and then she tells your dad and your life is living hell. If you think your mom might be okay with it, start with mom, you know? And make sure that she knows, hey, I'm coming to you with something super important. I need you to keep it between us. I need my mom right now. You have to be strong. You have to be strong and try to get through it the best way you can. So, yeah. You got me, man. You got me. You got this channel. You got the people who comment and stuff. I have a great following. I, I, can never, I can never get over that aspect of this channel. The people on this channel legitimately want to help each other and, you know, care about the people that write in and stuff. And that's a beautiful thing. But it feels like the end of the world right now because maybe you're putting your faith, you're putting your confidence in people that don't reflect it for you, but... Build that for yourself, and then you're invincible. You can take on that world. You want to add anything? I don't know. You know, just I feel like you don't pull your weight. And then again, your weight is like next to nothing because you're mostly cotton. Next question. This is a fun one. Okay, so this is from uh, uh, someone named Ivan. Okay, so hi, Steven. I prefer to be called Ivan, but homie is uh, fine too. I am a rather paranoid person. So sending this email is frightening, but hey, it's called I Hit Send Sunday for a reason. You're absolutely right. Thank you for hitting send. Uh, so I'm 15 and gay, and I recently moved to a new school. I've made lots of new friends, but there's two guys that I've had my eyes on since I moved here. I feel that these two have a thing for each other, but it's hard to tell. I don't want to get in the way by coming on to either one of them. I'm not out, and neither are either of them. I don't know what to do. Am I just crazy? P.S. Love your videos. I think you, Matt, and uh, you, Matt, and all of you make a great team. That's awesome. Thank you. New school. You came in. These two guys seem to think have a thing for each other. You kind of have a thing for both of these guys. Uh, you are now a catalyst. A catalyst. Now, what is a catalyst? Somebody who, you know, helps chemical reactions happen. Hormonal reactions happen. So listen, uh, there's no, there's no uh, reason to hesitate here. You, you, you are, you're in a new school. You, you like, you know, one of two guys. There's never really a, a, a bad reason to make a move on these guys unless they come off homophobic and they might beat you up if you hit on them. If it doesn't seem like that's the case, there is no reason not to display your interest. If they're interested in each other, then maybe they'll find a calm way to be like, hey, like, oh, sorry, man, like we're kind of working something out. It's really cool that you're gay. We could totally hang out, blah, blah, blah. That's a great scenario. Uh, you know, even better scenario. You go up to one of the guys that you, you know, really like, you talk, you guys hit it off, and you maybe bone a little bit. I don't know, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that could happen. If nothing is official or anything like that, it's open game. You're allowed to show interest to people. You know, even if somebody's in a relationship, you're still allowed to express interest. It's up to them to be like, oh, sorry, I'm in a relationship. As long as you're not annoying about it, as long as you're not being, you know, a pest or, or something horrible to the relationship, you're allowed to show interest in a person. We don't all have to live our lives like, oh, like, I hope, I hope somebody notices me one day. Like, you have to be an active member of society. You have to get out there and you have to show people that you're interested in engaging. How else are they supposed to know? And I'm still figuring that stuff out. Jeez, dude, if you, oh my God. Oh, yeah, still learning that lesson. But um, yeah, don't, don't be nervous about that stuff. Uh, if those guys are cool guys worth even considering as potential partners or, you know, love interests, then they'll treat you with the kindness of being like, oh, sorry, like, it's just not a good time or whatever. Um, if they're complete assholes, they'll be like, oh, get away from me, faggot, <laughs> which, you know, oh, God, that would be horrible, but, you know, uh, hopefully very unlikely. If you want to be with, a, you know, a person, you have to go out there. You have to make a bold move sometimes to, to put yourself out there, and, um, you know, it's, it's high risk, high reward uh, being confident and going after these things. This is a good one to end with, actually. Okay. Hey, Steve. Uh, my name is, uh, 
Elias? Elias? Elias. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Elias. I'm uh, gay and I'm in high school. I'm 17 years old and I'm openly gay and I'm kind of flamboyant. I was wondering, what do you do when people put you down or shame you for being gay? Sincerely, Elias. Elias. Uh, P.S. I love your videos, dude. I love your name. Despite uh, you know my coming out video and some of my stuff, I come off as a very confident gay young man, and I hope to do so because you know we need some good examples of that. But yeah, dude, there's been times where I've uh, been made fun of, you know, mocked for for being gay for. Um, you know, a lot of butt jokes and, and weird stuff like that from, you know, friends and, and, and enemies alike. <laughs> but uh, I think I know where you're coming from. In the malicious form, uh, when people make fun of you for being gay, uh, number one, never forget that the people, and this is, this. there's studies out there, you know, I'll post one maybe below. Uh, the people who make fun of other people for being gay, the most outspoken gay bigots, uh, register uh, the most in these, like, trial tests to have gay feelings that they are battling with. They are projecting onto you their own insecurities. There is no reason for somebody who is comfortable in their sexuality to come at you about yours unless they feel those feelings already. I'm not saying that every homophobe is gay. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the outspoken ones who are really, really against it, like those politicians and stuff uh, who, who come out against it, those dudes end up getting caught in a bathroom blowing some stranger because they had to hide it and, and you know, from their wife and kids, you know. These are the people who come out years and years later after doing sketchy Craigslist hookups and stuff that they're hiding from their wife. If you want to know what to do when people make fun of you for being gay or come at you for being a homosexual or whatever, you know, of any shape or form of harassment like that, the best thing to do, live an awesome life. Do dope shit. Hang out with awesome people that make you happy. Um, do the things that make you happy. Because you know what? Killing them with kindness and, and you know, just being the best version of yourself and showing that person, I might be gay, but pff, dude, I have some dope friends. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. I'm happy. That is the best thing you can do. I would love to coach you on witty comebacks and stuff. Oh, God, never mind. My comebacks are, have no place on this channel. Uh, I say them out of anger, and this is about love. Um, so, yeah, listen. Uh, do do you. That's what you can do. You, you, you laugh at him, and you walk to the fucking theater department, and you put on a whole amazing play. You, you go and do what you were meant to do, because those people are road bumps. They're just fucking obstacles to get where you're going. And if you let those things derail you, if you let those things get to you and it prevents you from doing you, they won. And they suck. So letting them win is horrible. You should never come in second place to somebody who's outwardly harassing innocent fucking people. You gotta beat them at this game of life. You gotta make them feel like idiots forever coming at you. There are examples of people, you know, like, Decades later, emailing people and being like, listen, I am so sorry for, you know, harassing you about being a feminist or being gay or whatever. I was just intimidated by your confidence. And it usually comes down to that. They are intimidated by the fact that you are comfortable in your own skin, that your flamboyancy doesn't stop you from talking to people, engaging with people, and, and seeking out the love that you deserve. And that's what intimidates them. They hate the fact that you are comfortable in your own skin. So if you ever show them that you're not, they win. So don't. Be fucking you, man. Do it with a vengeance. Do it with a passion that they've never seen before. And that's, uh, you know, that's how you win. That's how you deal with that stuff. You be your best version of you. That was I had since Sunday. I did three emails. It felt good. I'm sorry, guys. I've been away. I just, you know, like I said, I did not. I didn't feel good. I did not feel good about myself. And uh, it happens to me sometimes. It happens, I'm sure, to everyone watching here. Uh, I just get dramatic with it and drop everything that I was building up. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to, to be, um, you know, a, a, a source of comfort, a source of confidence for people. And, uh, it got to me because I wasn't feeling very confident about myself at the time, uh, that I, you know, kind of stopped making these videos and I was, you know, moving, I was doing all this crazy stuff. Um, you know, I, I did the, I did the road trip, which kept me distracted. And by the time it, it came to start making that show again, uh, I'd been away from it so long and I just was not, I did not have my shit together. 
um, in any way, shape, or form, and I just didn't want to, um, I didn't want to be anything less than what I started this channel, uh, with, which was, you know, I had sent Modern Meltdown, and, and the, you know, the poems after that, and the, the coming out video, and all these, you know, things that I really just wanted to put out there to help people, and, um, I, I didn't feel like I was in a position to do so, uh, uh after a point, so, uh, I am now. I am chasing uh, some some things that I want to chase again. I am um, I'm, I'm working on me, and I, I encourage all of you guys to work on you at any moment that you can. Don't don't uh, don't let people get into your heads about their dreams. You know, don't lose focus of what it is that you want. And if you don't know what you want, it might be because you've been kind of following somebody else's path for a little bit too long, and you might need to take some time to get back to get back to yourself. Um, and that's okay. I think. I'm pretty sure it's okay. As long as you can, like, feed yourself for the time being and, like, you know, you know you're not responsible to, for too many other people. I don't know. This, this has gotten weird, but listen, I, I, just, I just want, I want to say I'm back. I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try to 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 come back into myself and put out some material that you guys will love, and I'm gonna try to make this uh, part of my life for a while. If you guys will have me. All right. Well, this was I had since Sunday. Oliver's here. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Like and subscribe. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of cool videos that you'd want to see, please post them below because I'm looking for ideas. I want to I wanna put out some cool stuff. But uh, this I had since Sunday was my kind of thing. Um, somebody suggested some lectures. Uh, I would love to do some lectures. I don't know what topics to pick. I have some that are close to my heart, but this is about you guys. So if you would like to see a lecture kind of video where just me talking about a subject, Post it below. Um, post the subject that you want to hear me rant about and uh, watch Oliver do nothing in. Because that's kind of his shtick. I don't know what episode of I Attend Sunday this is. Well, I Attend Sunday revamped, we'll call it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you uh, in a little bit. I'm thinking maybe not in a week. Maybe sometime in the next couple of days. If this video goes well and you guys haven't all turned on me and decided to go see better looking and more energetic and cooler YouTubers than myself, I completely understand.